I'm Nate. Today, let's look at Bad Batch Season 3, Episode 13, Into the Breach. In this episode, the guys head to a space station above Coruscant in order to find the coordinates to Tantis, while Omega investigates the vault. Written by Brad Rao, Episode 13 was released on April 17th, 2024 on Disney+. Plus. The episode starts on Tantis, where Omega interacts with the other children in the vault for the first time. She learns their names and that they aren't supposed to talk, but rather play the games provided. On Borovio, a gas planet where Hunter and the gang rescued Omega from Cad Bane in Season 1, Hunter and the guys plot their next move. Echo shows up with a stolen Imperial shuttle, and they question Rampart. He reveals that no one knows the coordinates of Tantis. They must go to a space station above Coruscant. From there, they can supposedly intercept a transmission giving the coordinates to a science transport headed to Tantis. The connection to Boro Vio is important here. In Season 1, Omega was in the hands of Cad Bane. Though the guys were actively after her, she took matters into her own hands by taking out Toto 360 and attempting to escape the clutches of Bane, and then again during the transfer. We know that Omega escaped Tantis earlier in the season. This time the stakes are higher, and she's in captivity on her own accord. Back on Tantis, Omega questions the other children to get an idea of the daily routine. She discovers a possible weak point in the vault inside the walls where the blood samples are transported to the lab. The guys arrive at the space station above Coruscant where they've stripped the paint off their armor and given Rampart a captain's uniform. Rampart wants to know what assurances he has that the guys will follow through on their promise to free him. Crosshair tells him that he'll have to trust them, just like they are trusting him. And here we're presented with an element of soldiering that Rampart doesn't understand. The higher ranks in the military are often wrought with politics and backstabbing, but the lower ranks tend to have nothing to lose. There are higher levels of trust and honor. An officer who carries himself in the same way can earn a lot of respect from the lower ranks. Though Rampart probably had some kind of indoctrination program to become an officer, his sense of honor and loyalty likely atrophied. Although there is potential that Rampart could turn and join the guys in their cause, his arc is seemingly different than Agent Callus. Callus was an Imperial Security Bureau officer who was hunting the crew of the Ghost in the series Star Wars Rebels. He eventually became disillusioned with the Empire and became a rebel spy under the name Fulcrum. I think it would be an interesting arc for Rampart if he helps the guys, but doesn't turn sides, instead opting to settle down in some remote part of the galaxy. Overall, I really like this episode. It had suspense and tension in both stories as it moved the overall story towards the final climax to save the clones. Let me know what you all think in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and if you like the content and the deeper discussion into the themes found in Star Wars, Please hit the like button and subscribe to keep me in your feed.